Good afternoon. My name is Daniel Medina, and I am happy to share this video with you this morning. I, I, uh, I'm reaching out to you because I noticed that your listing had expired, and I just wanted to uh, share with you a couple of reasons why uh, listings expire. In fact, I did a post today about it on Facebook about um, if the market is so hot, why the bleep has my home not sold yet? And so I just wanted to invite you to take a couple minutes here to, to, uh, to listen to what I have to say and listen to this short YouTube video. And if you're inspired, please take a look at some of the other material that I've posted, some of the other content that I've posted on this channel, uh, trying to leverage the use of technology, social media, to uh, bridge the gap between uh, people who are needing a service and people who are providing a service, you needing the service of uh, perhaps of selling your home, myself providing the service of selling homes. So uh, I started selling homes in Chandler, Arizona in 2001, and I now live in Glendale, and I sell all over the valley. So the, the, the four top reasons why uh, expired listings will not sell, listings will not sell, uh, top on the list is uh, un, uh, unrealistic uh, overpricing. Overpricing of the listing is, is one reason. Uh, unrealistic expectations of the seller will be a second reason. And poor condition of the home would be a third reason. And then uh, poor marketing would be a fourth reason. So I, uh, without going into too much detail into this video, uh, I want to share with you a couple of the reasons um, so a lot of times you, for sure, when I sit down with a person, uh, we want, my goal is to try to sell the home for as much as possible, put as much money at the end of the sale of the home into your pocket. I can with the least amount of minimal stress to you. Um, of course, every, the steps on the sale of the home are the same. Every deal is slightly different depending on whether the buyer is cash, whether it's finance, whether he's VA, whether she's FHA. Some of these things will play into the parameter of how much uh, we are inhibited by appraisal. For example, today I'm in escrow with a home and the appraisal came in lower than the agreed upon price. So we are have we we fought the appraisal or we provided comps that we used to arrive at our price and they revised it. Uh, and I will look here shortly to see um, if we can still save this deal or if we need to continue shopping. So. Uh, we a lot of times too sellers will you know you hear on all the media how everybody likes to tell a tell a tall tale and your fishing your buddy's fishing trip is he caught a fish this big by the time he got home it's this big right so uh, sometimes the the role of the agent is to kind of uh, kind of bring people back to earth and set expectations. When your home hits the market, you're going to get the most amount of eyes on your home as possible. If you're too high, you're going to price yourself out of the potential buyer that's going to want your home. I always recommend to my seller that we go out and we look at what in that neighborhood is priced at that price point so you can see the competition. You can see how your home stacks up against the, um, the, the pricing that you've chosen. I think that's enough to start today. I I, ha I will share more to this series. I appreciate you looking at this video. I appreciate you looking into more, commenting, subscribing. Of course, if you're still interested in selling and you're not relisted, please uh, send me a text, give me a phone call, send me a smoke signal, do something so that we can meet and uh, we can have a helpful conversation, a no obligation consultation, explain options. Uh, I, I do this full time. I'm with one of the best teams in the Valley, the Live to Give team with my home group. And uh, I guarantee you, if you choose me to sell your home for you, we will get it done. I will be available. I answer my phones. I communicate regularly and we are proactive with marketing, open houses, social media, internet, we we will tailor a marketing plan to you to get the job done. So uh, I appreciate your ear. I hope you have a blessed day. And I look forward to you to meeting you soon if you're still interested in selling your home. Thanks so much. God bless.